Hey everyone, welcome back to The Funded Trader. Today we have a very special guest, all the way from Jamaica, coming to you with another $50,000 funded account. Without further ado, please introduce yourself, sir. Hey guys, my name is Akeem Case and I'm from Jamaica. And what do you do for work over there? I'm a photographer. And so how did you end up in the Forex game? Well, my sister actually came to me about the whole thing. Um, at first, I wasn't, I wasn't really interested because when I actually look, looked at it, it was like a bunch of numbers going up and down. And I was so confused. I just left it alone for like a few months. And then I came back at it and, you know, I just gave it a shot. And, you know, trial and error, I failed a lot of times before I even could um, start winning anything. And I just kept at it. And so how long did it take you to become funded from the start? It took me about a year. So about a year of all the trials, tribulations, passings, failings, and then you're finally here with the past account with the funded trader. How did you actually find out about the funded trader? Well, I was on YouTube um, looking for like, uh, different prop firms, the best prop firms. And then I came across a video uh, with someone by the name of uh, the Trade Connect, I believe. I think his name is Blake. Mm -hmm. And it was um, reviewing the different prop firms that are good. And then I saw the funded trade and said, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And so far, I liked what I see and kept with it. And so like, what do you like about the funded trader or like the community? The community itself is very friendly. Everyone's so talkative. I like that about the funded trader. And I like how they cater to their traders. And about your actual journey from start to finish, is there something that you maybe wish you did differently when you first started? Yeah, I wish that I took the time to actually get a mentor to get me started in forex so you're saying you you started from start to being funded without even having a mentor that is right so how much time would you say you've dedicated to like studying or looking at the charts oh wow it uh, basically 24 7 any whenever i get the chance to look at the charts i'm there yeah i feel i feel the same way man like once you get hooked on these markets, like you can't look at anything else, you know, you always want to be in the market. You always want to be trading, but you know, even that, even then over trading is a lot of, or is a bad habit. A lot of traders have. So as long as you're managing your risk, well, and you're protecting your accounts and stuff, then you can trade as much as you like, you know, yeah. the more, the more, the merrier, as they say. What is one of the hardest lessons that you've learned because of trading? The hardest lesson that I've learned is patience. You need to have patience while trading. You can't just jump into markets like that. You need to wait for uh, your entry and that takes patience. Yeah, because trying to jump the gun, you know, just like at a just like at a track meet, trying to run like a race, you know, when you line up, you wait for the gun. You can't just start running before everyone else does. You yeah. know, <laughs> you have to wait for all your confirmations. You have to be patient, and then once you get a good entry, just like sit on your hands so that you're not you're not trying to exit the trade or like adjust it. You know, if you That's have true. a good plan, just set up the loss, set up the profit, and just let the market do its thing, you know? Of course, there's always, you can you can set to break even and be safe, but, you know, just exiting when it's one pip in profit, you know, that doesn't, that won't do anything for you. So, you know, patience is, is one of the most important things that a trader can have, 100% for sure. And do you actually sit in front of the charts or do you like set alerts and then start looking at them when the, the positions come up? Well, 
at first I never really start I never really set alerts at first but then I realized I'm missing a lot of entries when I don't set alerts so I started setting alerts a bit late but you know I start whenever I start setting, setting alerts I I wait for my entries and I catch them more often now so yeah I do set alerts when I'm I'm sitting at a chart and what kind of trader would you like identify yourself as like a scalper swing trader intraday i would say i'm an intraday and a scalper and so what would you tell someone who's actually looking to get funded with the funded trader i would say just take the time to practice proper risk management because that that alone if you don't have proper risk management that alone will let you fail make sure you know your proper risk management more than anything else take the time out to you know study and make sure you're good and then you know when you're ready you can take the challenge yeah exactly because again with the patience and just being ready you know it's better to take the time to try to learn all of the different just fundamental core ideas and practices in trading. You know, if you have a good risk management plan, if you have a decent strategy that you can just stay consistent with, if you take a challenge and you just follow the rules and you don't, the rules of your own strategy, I should say, you don't like risk the whole uh, challenge account at once in one trade, you know, you can avoid unnecessary losses and fail challenges if you really just take the time to work on your craft before you actually commit to buying all of these different challenges. So, and what are some of your favorite pairs to trade? Uh, US 30, NAS 100, and GBP, JPY. And so right now with all this crazy market uh, calamity, have you been having like good good setups and success in these past few weeks? Uh, I had a lot of well, no, not really any good setups this past week. More like the market's been playing tricks with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's what it seems like it's been doing to everyone because you know all the stocks are falling, gold is falling, everything's falling, and yeah. everyone's trying to just buy just. It's it's so hard to change the 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 bias, you know. Like if you think it's going to buy, you're gonna buy even though it keeps selling. You know, it's hard to just switch and just enter a sell and start holding it because it can continue dropping for months. So, I mean, that's one thing to really take a look at with these like indexes and and like uh, gold. If you can get into a position, like it doesn't even have to be that big of a position, but like. If you can enter a position and hold for like a month, you know, and especially if the market just starts trending down or up, like if you're in, you just forget about the position, you come back like a month later and then you have like the best position ever, you know? Yeah. And so do you actually use any fundamentals in your strategy or are you mostly focused on like price action or indicators? Uh, for right now, mostly focused on indicators. Yeah, because, I mean, with fundamentals, you really have to know, like, what each thing means, you know. There's all of the different PPI, GDP, unemployment, all of the news that comes out, it instantly affects the market. But if you don't know what it means, you know, you're going to enter one way, it will go the other way. You know, you have to, you have to know exactly what, each value means and then you can in incorporate that into your strategy or just continue doing what works for you and with that being said would you like to give us a quick insight into your strategy sure all right let's hop on to the charts okay so the way that i took this trade is that I waited to see this uh, red cloud right here. And after I saw that red cloud, I knew, I knew that it was a downtrend. Because what this um, indicator does, this indicator shows you when it's an uptrend and when it's a downtrend. Because 
it's easy to, in, indicator is pretty easy to use. And what I did was I set my stop loss about, about here. And then I rode the trend all the way down here. And then um, after I saw that it didn't, it, it didn't turn green, the trend was still red. So I know that it was still going down. So I read it all the way coming down here. And then I closed out right as it started turning uh, the green cloud. So I knew that it was going back into uptrend. So I closed it out right here. So can you drop down the take profit all the way down there to see? I just want to see how many. Yeah, and just drag it, drag it down to where you exited green. Yeah, right yep. here. I started turning green. Uh, this wow point. so you you literally captured sixteen thousand pips like that's just overkill man I, <laughs> for a challenge that is unbelievably overkill but i mean congrats man and, and where can people find this indicator uh you can go to my elite signals.com and then you'll see it there and like for you what kind of like average win rate and risk to reward has this given you? This indicator has given me about a 70 to 80% win rate. Yeah, I mean, that's exceptional. So as long as you're getting insane <laughs> swing trades like this, man, you're gonna be you're gonna be plowing through the markets <laughs> with this funded man. So congrats to you, man. I, I'm happy that you're finding success all the way from Jamaica, man. You know, from Jamaica, there's that one really iconic movie, the cool runnings about the Jamaican bobsled team. You are literally sledding down the market, like right there on the drop. You're just dropping in your bobsled, capturing every pip that that is in sight, man. So congrats to you again. Just keep Keep consistent, keep growing the account. And when it comes time to get a payout, just go risk-free on the account. You're already risk-free. You, you're not risking anything. You got a refund. Continue growing that account. Maybe purchase another one, a bigger one, because then another interview will be done and you'll be at like 500,000 or something. So just keep on pushing it and with these payouts and stuff, you know, keep building your empire. That's the key because who wants to stay at 50,000 when the, <laughs> when the max is 600,000, you know, and yeah. there's, there's always more, there's always more to learn when it comes to the market. So never, never be afraid to fail and just keep on pushing through. And for the last part, I just wanted to ask you one more question and then we will conclude the interview. So let's hop off the charts and get to that. Sure. And for the final question, what do you believe the funded trader will do long-term for the prop industry and beyond? Well, I honestly think that the funny trader will be around for a very long time because you know, everyone, everyone says that, um, FTMO is like the top of everything because it's been around for a long time. I think that the funny trader will definitely reach to the top at some point because the funny trader is a really awesome platform. I really love it. I would recommend the funny trader to anyone. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, they got, they have everything that you need, you know. They have various types of products. You can go swiftly with the rapid challenge. You can take your time with the standard challenge and a little bit more uh, secure risk. You can have all these different types of payouts. Funded Trader community is incredible. There's so many amazing characters in the Discord chat, you know. You can always you can always find something or someone to talk with or trade with. So with that being said, thank you all for watching this amazing interview with this super cool Jamaican trader. And uh, tune in next time as we're going to have a few different changes in the upcoming uh, funded trader interviews. And look out for that. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Show your support for this incredible dude. Thank you.